Okay, hey collective. So this is gonna be a collective reading. Collective, I'm getting like there is somebody that ran because the relationship was too healthy. I'm getting like you're not somebody as clingy. You're not checking no phones. You're not like obsessing over nobody. You're not trying to like where you at, what you doing. I'm getting like you don't do that. And somebody, whoever this is that you are connected to, this person may like chaos or somebody is used to like really toxic relationships. That's what I'm getting. This person like never had somebody to like truly accept them for them and not try to change them. What's going on here? What's going on here? Yeah, like somebody likes chaos. Somebody is used to like, I'm getting toxic relationships. That's what I'm getting. Somebody is used to dealing with sneaky or dating sneaky, underhanded, conniving people. And you're not. None of that. That's what I'm getting. So this individual like felt like the relationship was not, I don't know. It was not toxic enough. That's what I'm getting. Somebody felt like a relationship was not toxic enough. Yeah, they're going to regret doing that. Yeah, somebody's going to regret doing that. What's going on here? Like this person wants you back or something like that here. Like this person, I'm telling you, this person is used to dating karmics. Somebody is used to dating karmics. And whoever this individual is, it's like this person is also used to dating karmics that only want to be with them for their money. So take that how it resonates. But like whoever you are, you're a good person. You're a genuine person. You're also a very confident person. You don't need somebody to validate you. Or you're not going to put the responsibility of your happiness on that person. That's what I'm getting. So whoever you are, like you've done the healing work. That's what I'm getting here. What's going on here? Yeah, wow. <laughs> This is like all these cards are in reverse. Somebody, somebody likes toxic, unhealthy relationships. That's what I'm getting. Somebody likes to, to date karmics. Yeah. Somebody likes to date karmics. That's what I'm getting. What's going on here? Yeah, I'm telling you. Like, <laughs> somebody likes to date karmics. Somebody also likes to date, like, I don't know, I'm getting something in regards to controlling people. Like, I'm getting whoever this individual is, this person feels like if it's not toxic, then it's not love. <laughs> That's what I'm getting. Like, somebody's view on love is, like, completely warped. Somebody feels like if the relationship is not toxic, then it's not love. If it's not like a lot of drama fighting, if you're not like constantly checking this person's phone, trying to see where this person is, trying to see who this person is with, all of that, like somebody feels like if it's not that, then it's not love. Yeah, I'm telling you, like somebody likes unhealthy relationships. Somebody likes to be in unhealthy relationships. This could be an empress in reverse here, like a karmic feminine energy, or this is a masculine energy. That like could have been dealing with a karmic feminine. Or once like a connection with somebody that's like controlling. Wow. I'm also getting disrespectful. So whoever this is, this person likes when like people talk to them crazy in a relationship as well. Like somebody likes to be talked to like I'm getting like just disrespected. <laughs> that's what I'm getting like. This is unhealthy. And like you don't want no parts to this. Or you don't want to deal with this individual. Because it's like you're over this. Whatever this is. Like you're not in that energy. Whoever you are. You don't even operate like that. That's what I'm getting. You're not codependent on nobody. You're not like you're not stooping down to whatever this is. This is low vibrational. This is also somebody that likes to date emotionally unavailable people. Somebody likes to date emotionally unavailable people. Yeah, what's going on here? Yeah, what's going on here? Then this person sits up all night and, you know, is upset and crying when they get cheated on. 
or when you know whatever happens happens because it's like somebody i don't know this is weird this is kind of like masochistic it's like somebody knows that they like i don't know if this is like somebody that only dates like i don't know i'm getting bad boys or something like that like somebody feels like they like like rough guys it's not necessarily just somebody being rough or like being like somebody likes to date emotionally unavailable men it excites them the drama the chaos the being juggled like somebody feels like that's fun like somebody likes the toxicity of toxic relationships this could also be somebody that like likes to fight over men that's what i'm getting this could be somebody that likes to fight over men like kind of ignorant or very immature very low vibrational yep didn't i say toxic toxic ass relationships somebody likes toxic ass relationships and then it's like somebody is up in their head when they get cheated on or they're juggled by the men that they're choosing but this person is intentionally choosing these emotionally un unavailable men oh wow yeah i'm also getting some type of lifestyle here is significant it's something in regards to some type of lifestyle we got the king of pentacles here and we have the king of swords here it's some type of lifestyle here this whoever this empress in reverse is she was dealing with uh she could have been dating two masculine energies and they were doing her bogus they were i don't know it's like she was dating both of these individuals here that's what I'm getting. Or she was juggling. Yeah, it's like... <laughs> I don't know. This is really toxic. This is toxic as hell. This is really toxic. What's going on here? I'm telling you. I don't know these two masculine energy e either she was juggling two masculine energies or she was getting juggled by two masculine energies um wow whoever this feminine energy is she's non-committal she's non-committal so she chooses emotionally unavailable men that's what i'm getting i'm also getting this could be like two of her like uh she had children by both of these masculine energies. So she has a child by a king of pentacles and a king of swords. This empress in reverse. I don't know if these two are like out here fighting over this empress in reverse. This is toxic. This is toxic. It's like these two are fighting over this empress in reverse. But it's because like she's. I don't know. She's messy and karmic she's messy and karmic and she has a child by both of these individuals here they're not what did i just say what did i just say man look here it's like she's cheating on one of her baby daddies for the other one like this is like <laughs> she does not know her worth she does not know her value at all at all i don't know she does not know her worth and her value at all she's very i don't know it's like she ignores red flags because she is like she has red flags so she's not like man look this is messy yeah like somebody is very just reckless somebody is very immature somebody is very like kind of just i don't know sneaky conniving underhanded manipulative and she's getting juggled by these two like i'm telling you like this is toxic here she's getting juggled Or she's doing the juggling. 
or oh wow okay i see what's going on here okay so for some this empress in reverse she has two masculine energies who she has children with these two masculine energies they could be juggling her they're dealing with somebody else they're dealing with somebody else so while she's juggling these two this empress in reverse she's juggling these two while she's juggling these two they're juggling her this is so messy this is so messy it's like she'll call one over one night and then when she's into it with that one she's calling the other one over that's what i'm getting and this is somebody these two masculine energies here she has children with them yeah i'm telling you like juggling when she's mad at one she calls the other to come over then when she's mad at that one she calls the other one to come over this is so oh this is toxic this is very toxic yep um somebody is also in regret here uh there's one of these masculine energies that's realizing that he's in some type of karmic cycle with an empress in reverse and her karmic lover that's what i'm getting so he could be getting away from both of these individuals here yeah like somebody this whoever this empress in reverse is she's very manipulative and she's very sneaky and like i said when she's mad at one of these masculines she calls the other to come over yep when she's mad at one of these masculines when they're arguing getting into it you know all of that mess she calls the other one to come over that's what she could be like trying to oh wow okay so she's she knows what she's doing she knows what she's doing she could be using this or doing this to get one to chase her and then when that one starts chasing her she goes to the other one or something weird like that it's like she's playing games with both of these individuals here like when she's mad at this king of pentacles she goes and she hooks up with this king of swords then this king of pentacles is chasing her then she goes back to the king of pentacles and then the king of swords is chasing her like this is messy this is messy yeah and this is somebody she has children with both of these individuals here what's going on here wow okay i don't know why i'm getting like i don't know if this is some type of open situation here like i'm getting these individuals could they could live together like they all live together or like they all live in the same complex or something like that yep they all live in the same complex yeah this is weird this is some type of this empress in reverse she she has options <laughs> she has options and it's something in regards to like a complex here like maybe a, a apartment complex or like some type of condominium or this could be like these individuals live together and this is some type of open situation here some type of agreement okay both of these masculine energies they're breaking up with this empress in reverse that's what i'm getting they're breaking up with this empress in reverse uh they're taking back oh wow okay so these masculine energies they could be well off here and like whoever they are they're like this empress in reverse is some type of kept woman or something like that i don't know and she could live with both of these masculine energies, but she's some type of kept woman, but she's extremely, extremely manipulative. And she gets what she wants from both of these masculine energies by manipulating, being manipulative. So they're breaking up with her or something like that. 
and they're moving out. Both of these masculine energies, like they're moving out. Yeah, this is some type of uh, open situation. I'm telling you. I don't know what. This is some type of agreement here. Yeah. <laughs> I don't know. It's like this emperor is trying to be strong. He's trying. You know what I'm also getting? Wow. This could legit be. Wow. King of Cups in reverse. Uh, For some, this is not an open agreement. For some... This is a empress in reverse that like her lover's friend or this could even be like a relative. Her lover's friend or relative was like living with them. Living like these individuals, all three of these in individuals were living together. She, this empress in reverse, she was cheating on her lover with his friend or whoever this is that was living like this is some type of living arrangement and like when she was mad at this king of pentacles or when he left she would go hook up with this king of swords and then when she was mad at this king of swords or when you know this king of swords left she would go hook up with this king of pentacles that could be why like these individuals have like she has a child with both of these individuals or she has a child and she doesn't know which one it's like who it's by she doesn't know who it's by because like this king of pentacles and this king of swords they were living together with this empress in reverse this is very very toxic this is very very toxic here yeah and like so one of these individuals is now moving out or both of them are about to move out and get away from this empress in reverse. Yeah. This is because somebody is like, no, I don't know who you think. Like somebody's like, you are not about to juggle me. I don't know. Yeah. What's going on here with this situation? This could be something that somebody that you're interested in or somebody that's interested in you dealt with. This person was like a third party to a couple. That's what I'm getting. This person was a third party to a couple. And it's like one of these masculine energies here. Like I said, either one or both is about to move out. But like one of these masculine energies is like y'all can have each other. <laughs> He's like y'all can have each other. I'm gone. I'm done. So yeah. Yep. Yep. Closing out that cycle. Closing out. So there's an emperor energy that's closing out a cycle here. That's what I'm getting. Like I said, this could be a masculine energy that's interested in you. And like this is something he dealt with in the past in regards to an empress in reverse. This empress in reverse, she thinks she's the shit. She thinks that she has these two masculine energies like wrapped around her finger or something like that here because of whatever this arrangement is it's like she feels like these two masculine energies are thirsty to be with her or desperate to be with her or like yeah like she feels like she's a shit i'm telling you and like <laughs> she's juggling two masculine like she's juggling two men and all of these individuals live together i don't know if these individuals were engaging in some type of like uh you know, I'm not even going to speak on that, but anything else and then I'm ending this. Yeah, this person's going to have some healing that they need to do. This could be somebody like, you're like, no, nah, I'm good. Maybe this person was interested in you and wanted to connect with you, but this is something this person came out of before this individual met you. So there could be a masculine energy that's interested in you, but this is something he dealt with before he met you or reached out to you or decided to try to connect with you. And you could be like, no, uh-uh, I'm, I'm good. I'm good. <laughs> you know, good luck with that yeah this is somebody you're like no ah uh, and this is gonna be a no for me you know you seem like you pretty cool dude but that's gonna be a no for me because like this is a mess <laughs> this is a mess oh wait 
man, look, the truth is coming out in regard. Like, you don't want, you don't want to be a part of this. You don't want to be around. You don't want to be a part of this. Uh, one of these masculine energies is about to find out that a child does not belong to them. It belongs to the other one. That's what I'm getting here. Yep. But they were both knowingly hooking up with this empress in reverse. And one of these masculine energies is like about to find out that the child is not theirs. And that could be why this masculine energy is now wanting to make a move towards you. Because he feels like this other masculine energy is stuck with this empress in reverse here now. That's how he feels. So he's like, oh, no, I'm going towards my true counterpart, my true empress, my true match. And you're like, uh, you know, you're going you gonna to need a little healing. Like, you're going to need some time to heal before you come over here. That's what I'm getting. Like, you're like, no, you know, I'm going to just, I'm going to love you from a distance, you know. But you don't want no parts of this. Because one of these masculine energies could be making a move towards you unhealed. Because this person has not healed from whatever the situation is. That's what I'm getting. This person could be hurt. This masculine energy. Like this is a masculine energy. Like this man's ego and pride could be hurting all of that. That's what I'm getting here. Um. Wow. I'm getting for some. That's the case for some. There's one of, this ma one of these masculines here that's like, yeah, I'm free. I'm free. Like he... Wow, he's happy. He's happy because both of them were hooking up with this empress in reverse. It was some type of weird living arrangement or they lived in the same complex or something like that. But like now one of these individuals is finding out that the child does not belong to them. It belongs to their friend or another masculine energy. And so this person is like, yeah, I'm gone. What I just tell you? What I'm telling you, somebody that found out that a child does not belong to them, that's what I'm getting. And this person is like, damn, damn, bro, that sucks. You know, I wish y'all the best. You know, I hope y'all, I'm going to let y'all have each other. I'm going to go this way and meet me, somebody that's not going to sleep with my, you know, my boy. <laughs> this is what I'm getting. I don't know. I'm really getting, this is kind of like open relationship, but not really. And I'm getting like these two masculine energies, they look at this empress in reverse as an empress in reverse because of like, because she did what she did. That's what I'm getting because she did what she did. And she felt like she was winning. She felt like she had these two sprung. She felt like these two wanted her because she was exotic and all of this stuff. Like that's what I'm getting. And one of these masculine energies, he's like getting the hell out of Dodge. Like, as soon as he found, oh, wow, okay. I'm getting, you are not the father, you're the uncle. So these two could be brothers. He's finding out he's not the father of this child. He's actually the child's uncle. Yeah. Take it how it resonates. It was some type of living arrangement. Somebody moved in, you know, when somebody's a uh, lover that felt like she was like high value and you know all that exotic and like he chose me and all of this stuff she didn't slept with this man's man look here she didn't slept with this man's brother yeah we have it's time to transform we have opened the door didn't i tell you somebody is moving out i'm getting moving on out and moving on up yeah, we have protect your energy. Yeah, he's getting away from this. There's one of these masculine energies here that's getting away from this. Yeah, prioritize your health. I'm going to find out which one because, yeah, I don't know. Okay, I'm going to get a card on this King of Pentacles. He has the money. I'm going to get a card on this King of Swords. Oh, wow. This King of Swords, any sign, is somebody that like, he likes to date. Oh, wow. Okay, so this King of Pentacles could be the one that's moving, like moving out. Because he's the one with the money. So this Empress in reverse, she wanted this King of Pentacles because he has money. Is what I'm getting. But this King of Pentacles could have a friend 
around him that does not have as much money as this king of pentacles i don't know you know it is what it is but he likes to deal with like feminine energies that are well off he's not well off he likes to deal with feminine energies that are well off or something like that that's what i'm getting it's going to be different for everyone so that's not going to be the case for everyone for some this king of swords is dating this queen of pentacles that's really this king of pentacles lover or something like that that's what i'm getting so the reason she's showing up as this queen of pentacles here is because she's with this king of pentacles here and he has the money this king of pentacles here he's the one that has the money but this empress in reverse she's with this man that's what i'm getting she's with this man and she's creeping with this king of swords and they all could have been living together it's like this king of pentacles trusted his friend let his friend or his bro move in stay there you know they was all living together whenever this king of pentacles would leave or whenever this karmic got mad at this king of pentacles she would go sleep with this king of swords Whenever this king of swords will leave, she'll sleep with this king of pentacles. You know, take it how it resonates. Or this king of swords and this empress in reverse here was creeping the whole time. And like, they felt like this king of pentacles was naive and or something like that. So this king of pentacles here, he's moving out. He's like, yeah, you can have your little like, I don't know. Damn, she feels like she fucked up. She feels like she fucked up because this king of pentacles is the one with the money. That's what I'm getting. And like the only reason she like, she's a gold digger. Whoever she is, she's a gold digger. That's why she was with this man is because he has money. But see, I don't know. It's like she, she's toxic. And she was sleeping with his friend. That's what I'm getting. She was sleeping with his friend. But yeah, this man is leaving. He's like, yeah, y'all can have that. Y'all can have each other. I'm, I'm good. Nope, I'm good. Nope. And he's like... I don't know. He could be wanting to make a move towards you, but you're like, no, you know, I love you. I got love for you and all, but you may need to heal after what you just went through. Like, it probably is not a good idea for you to be trying to jump into any relationship. You may need some time to, you know, gather yourself and heal and, you know, that's what I'm getting. But I'm going to end it there. Best of luck if this is you dealing with this or somebody around you.